So today, guys, we are talking about accessorizing your AK. Now we have a PSA AK-47 here, and it's got Magpul, so at least you got a little bit of options there. But if you have a stock like Woodstock AK, and you're like, I want to put an optic on it, even this. If I want to put an optic on it, you don't have too many options. Until now, we have the Alpha series of accessories and mounts from Midwest Industries. I've had a lot of Midwest Industries parts on some of my rifles beforehand, but this Alpha series of hand guards, top railed cover, and then their folding stock, pretty cool. Now, <laughs> we have to talk about the elephant in the room because I have so much trash on here that it kind of takes an elephant to shoot this, but I just wanted to see how much I could fit on this hand guard because normally if you want to put anything on an AR, well, it's okay, but on an AK, this is impressive. <laughs> so we have a, a laser rangefinder right here. We have extra 45 degree sights right here just because they fit on the rail. We have a red dot. We have a, now this is a thumb stop, but we have an AccuTac bipod. We have another four end. We have a hand stop four end Viridian laser. We have an O-light, so now this is a destructive device. We've got a PEC-15. Oh, and then if you notice the watch, the watch is pretty cool because that's actually our sponsor for today, Smith & Bradley. Now, it's kind of a cool story because Mr. Mr. Smith was a cop in Chicago and he's kept breaking watches. He's like, man, I need something more robust into the Smith and Bradley watches. He just said he's gonna go make them. And so you have quartz, you have digital, you even have automatic. Not that type of automatic, the type not regulated by the ATF. And I'll just borrow a quote from their website because they say they build exceptional watches for exceptional men. So maybe I'm the exception. But anyway, they guarantee their watches for life. So if you want something that you can use and abuse, well, maybe not abuse. This is abuse today. We're gonna see if it takes a licking and keeps ticking. Go over to the link tree. You can find it at topshotdustin.com and check out the Smith & Bradley watches. Now let's shut up and shoot. So we're just gonna start at the front because up here we have their two chamber muzzle brake by Midwest Industries. And then their six to 10 inch handguard is probably what most people are after. I don't know, all the pieces are pretty cool. But with this handguard, it installs without any modification to your rifle. If you have an AKM stamped pattern, it should fit. Once you have it all installed, it also has a very secure fit with multiple points of contact. You have so many, and I cleaned it up a little bit, but we'll clean it off later so you don't see all my trash on here but we have m locks you have picker tinny slots you have qd sling studs all around it and so you plenty of options for whatever you want to do and you still retain your original sling stud right or sling loop if you still want to use a traditional type there so the alpha handguard has a heat shield underneath it it's kind of holy so it will also dissipate heat but the barrel is completely cool now let's see how many rounds I can get off and before I feel warm and all that good stuff. We have a dead tree here, so it's a good candidate. All right, here we go. That's 30. Okay, let's take a little break. Of course, heat will take a second to transfer. It is still cool as all get out right now. I don't feel a lick of warmth here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's the barrel's hot. That's impressive. Of course we know, it, you know, it would start to transfer the more we go, but that was 30 rounds. A little bit more, see if that tree falls on us. Look out, look out, look out, look out, look out! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> 35 rounds took care of that tree. I didn't see it coming. <laughs> now we need another tree! Okay, I am starting to get a tiny, just, it's kind of like, it feels like if, if, if you touch your face or something, that's as long as warm as it is. Oh, snap, okay. The, uh, the sling stud though, not stud, but that sling loop, that's hot, that's why, but this, the hand guard itself is fine. Of course, it's leaning towards us as well. It's warm, but it's that handguard itself is fine. When I touch back at the receiver, I feel warmth there. Of course, that sling loop is still stinking hot, but the hand itself, that's 60 rounds and it's still good. All right, stay. Good stay, good stay. Finally, after 90 rounds, <laughs> it's smoking. I finally feel some heat in the handguard, but I can still hold my hand there. 
So that's pretty impressive. Look at the look at the smoke coming off of it. So three mag dumps, still handleable. I think we've used enough ammo for today, but that's kind of cool. So back here at the rear, we have our folding stock. It's it just attaches onto a Picatinny reel. It'll flip to the left or the right, whatever you want to set it up. The stock is adjustable up and down. You also have your cheek piece, which is adjustable. That's very helpful when you have a railed optic. But then also when you want your sights or a red dot, you can just push it all the way down. And you have five positions and sling swivel studs as well. Now, if you're putting an optic on it though, I took mine off for a second, we have the railed top cover. The cool thing about it is that it's supposed to return to zero. We're going to test that in just a second. You have used these two struts that go all the way and interconnect with the Alpha handguard. So yes, it is, uh, they, they're kind of married together. You can't just get the top rail cover. You have to use it in conjunction with their handguard. But once it bolts on here, you they have their patented button and it's a tight lockup. So it's going to keep all your dirt and dust out, of course. But once we slap it down, cycle it twice, we should be able to be right back on target. So you can do maintenance, cleaning, lubrication, all that stuff and not worry about it. So now we're gonna accuracy test. We have some arsenal ammo from our friends over at American Marksman. So go to theamericanmarksman.com, check them out. We are going to be shooting a 100 yard target. We're gonna do a control first where we can just shoot this one square. We have a 12 inch uh, target by Made Steel. We're using the Sightmark 6X. <laughs> Is that the edge? Oh my gosh. Okay, that's the same hole. That's not bad. Okay. okay. This is a Century Wasser 10. So, we can't expect too much out of it in the first place. But now what we're going to do, as we open our top rail cover, the gut rifle's still loaded. We're going to burn two rounds because we need to make sure it's seated good so it actually does return to zero. So, normally you'd rack it twice. Let's just burn two, then we'll shoot our target, and then we're going to do that. It may run low on ammo. <laughs> So I shot at the LaRue target at 175 yards, missed first one, hit second. So now we should be settled. A little left like everything else was. Up, down. So now we unlock our rail, put it back down, burn two. Okay, so one of those shots was 260, one was 175, and they both hit. Okay, that's about on par with our first group. Again, loss or 10. Okay. Same hole. Pretty nice. That uh, patented locking button did good. <laughs> oh, shoot. That one went way to the right, but I hit the 260 and the 175. Okay, up and down. Hit that one. Final group shot. Okay, not terrible. Let's finish the mag. <laughs> we had just enough. That's awesome. This is our control group. One of them was up here. The others, you know, so we're talking, if we ignore that one, which would make life easier on us today, we, we have about a four inch group. This is our made target. That was, the, that was the one where we didn't remove the optic at all. Now this one, we were removing the top rail up and down the whole time. We had one flyer. We had one flyer over there. So to make all things equal, if I just cover that up with my thumb and we just say, that's maybe a four and a quarter inch group. It's pretty much the same. And that one was a little bit to the left. This one's a little bit to the left. I'd say that top rail cover is holding. Well, cool deal. Guys, hope you enjoyed a little bit of video. If you're looking to accessorize your AK, go check out Midwest Industries. They've got all the cool stuff and the cool rigs. And yes, you need a good watch to stay on time. Is it still ticking? I haven't checked. We put like 200 rounds through this thing strapped to it today. And that Smith & Bradley watch it is still ticking. Thanks for watching today, guys. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye. Did you see that?